Hey, what's up? My name is Nikki Simmons, and today I'm doing a video all about my vocal warm up routine. I think a lot of people would be surprised to know that I use Melissa Cross's Zen of Screaming vocal warm ups, and I have used these warm ups for a very long time. Unfortunately, I don't think I can put the actual warm up tracks in this video because I don't want it to get taken down for copyright reasons. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be listening to the track in one ear and singing it and I actually am going to record it and put it on my SoundCloud so that you can listen to my warm-ups anytime you want and use them how you uh, wish in ways that will help you, hopefully. <laughs> by the way, I am by no means a professional vocal instructor. I simply wanted to make this video to show everyone what I do, what works for me. I have been doing this particular set of warm-ups for many years now since I got it, I think in 2013. So if at any point during this routine your voice starts to hurt or you feel uncomfortable, you should stop immediately because you could be doing permanent damage to your vocal cords and I think that pretty much kind of defeats the purpose of this video. Don't be stupid with your voice, kids. Anyway, enough talking, let's start singing. The next one is going to be another Z sound, but different notes, so it's pretty easy, pretty similar. This next warm up is called the French doorbell, and I don't know if I'm technically doing it correctly, but I kind of do it the same way every time, and it hasn't hurt my voice, And but I'm really not sure if it's helped it either. So this is one that's just kind of like, I might be doing it right or I might not be, but it's still a part of my warm up every time I warm up. I think something to keep in mind when you're doing your warm-ups or when you're uh, practicing to sing on a recording or to sing live is to not sweat if you mess up a note. Like, in my opinion, I think warm-ups are practice for the real thing. So I try not to pay too much attention when I'm warming up. I kind of tend to psych myself out if I think about the notes that I'm singing too much. So it's not really... Um, like too peculiar for me to be like browsing Amazon or like on Facebook or something while I'm doing these warm ups. So I can kind of like get out of my own head and go into like kind of a meditation to sing it, if that makes sense. I don't know, just for me personally, I don't like to like be over critical of myself, um, especially when I'm warming up. The next warm up that I do is an E sound over a succession of notes. And I think the easiest way to do this is to like put on a smile when you're doing it. So you are getting that true E kind of like thing with it. E Okay, so this next warm up is exactly the same, the same E sound, but it's just different notes. So, pretty easy. 
So this next warm up is called the Migi monkey exercise and I don't want to get like too into explaining every single one of these because I don't want this video to be like an hour and a half long. But this one is kind of important to explain because it has kind of like a hooty like sound with it that I think is really important. Um, it's an important part of the warm up. So how this one basically goes is it's Migi and you're kind of like almost doing like a monkey like hee -hee -ha -ha, like that kind of a sound um so i think that's important to remember that it's not like me gee ee 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 -e -e. it's a he 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 kind of like almost like kermit the frog here <laughs> like that kind of thing so just keep that in mind when you're listening to this next one me gee Ki So this next one is pretty similar to the last one, except for on the high note, it's not going to be your head voice like e -a -e -a -e. it's going to be your full voice and then you're going to kind of use um, a G in front of the word E. So it's going to be gee, gee, ya, gee, ya, gee, to kind of like help assist and support that note in chest voice. Gee, ya, gee, ya, gee. Gia gia gi 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 We
We e we e we e we we e we e we e we we e we e we e we we e we e we e we. So this next one is a little bit important to explain because um, I think what really works out and warms up your voice in this is the fact that you're kind of flicking between chest and head voice and mixed voice throughout this entire warm up. So this is called uh, the ya ya warm up or ya yas or whatever, something like that. And so it's important to listen um, at the beginning of the warm up and beginning of each uh, part of it. I'm in my chest voice at the bottom, like ya 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 ya. And then as I go up, I'm flicking between my chest voice and then my higher registers. And I'm doing that change and that blend. And that's really important when you're actually singing and recording because um, of the dynamic of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 E, 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 hey, hey. E, 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 hey, hey. E, 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 hey, hey. So the next time around that you do it, you're not going to go, hey, hey, you're going to go, ah, a. So it kind of takes the crutch off, which is the H. So yeah, that is the Zen of Screaming warm-ups as I know them, as I do them every single day. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so you don't miss any updates from me. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You give me a reason to make Mondays happen. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Or maybe sooner.